If you've ever wondered whether creatine is just for men or if it could benefit you as a woman, stick around because today I'm gonna to be breaking down why creatine is one of the most underrated supplements for women. We'll go over three main reasons why women can benefit from it as they age and some fascinating things about creatine you may have never even heard of. I'll talk about the best type, dose, side effects and when you can actually expect results. So stay with me till the end. Also real quick, before we get started, it would mean the world to me if you hit the thumbs up button down below. And if you enjoy the content, subscribe and turn the bell on to stay up to date with new weekly videos. And if you know anybody who takes creatine now, go ahead and send them this video. Let's watch a short clip that highlights just how underrated creatine was for women. Great study in menopausal women helping with depression. So we know it helps with cognition. It helps with bones. It helps with skin. It helps you work out harder. And I have been amazed because as I've been talking about creatine, I have gotten so much resistance that I'm blown away. Let's dive into the first reason why women can benefit from it, which is for improved cognitive function. Many people associate creatine with muscles, but did you know it's also a game changer for brain health? This is because it crosses the blood brain barrier. It helps with tasks involving the frontal cortex, such as learning, memory, and attention. You see, the brain requires constant energy, right? The brain accounts for only 2% of body mass, but uses 20% of the energy supply. Creatine helps supply the energy by increasing phosphocreatine stores, and research shows us that women, due to having lower natural creatine storage in the body than men, may benefit even more from this supplement. Because we all have natural creatine stores in the body, right? Women have around 70 to 80% less endogenous creatine storage compared to men, and this difference is largely because of the lower muscle mass and hormonal factors in women. Also what's interesting, is that vegetarians respond better to it because of lower creatine levels in their diets. This systematic review and meta-analysis goes into even more depth on that if you're curious to read about it. Also interestingly, creatine becomes even more important for supporting your ATP levels when there is a high metabolic demand in the brain for that ATP. But when would that occur, you might ask? When is the brain actually demanding more ATP? Well, when you're sleep deprived, have perimenopausal insomnia, women who have small kids, etc. Also, if you have had a recent concussion or a TBI, or if you have brain aging and neurodegenerative issues, these are just a few more instances when the brain could benefit from more creatine. Let's move on to the second reason why women can benefit from it, and it's for maintaining homeostasis throughout your hormonal journey. And what do I mean? Throughout each phase of your menstrual cycle, you get these dramatic shifts in hormones like estrogen and progesterone, which affect the body's natural creatine levels, sometimes dipping it very low. So supplementing creatine helps keep levels more consistent throughout the menstrual cycle. And there's even evidence to suggest that it can significantly lower the risk of irregular menstrual periods, obstetric conditions, and pelvic pathology, which is awesome. And also before I forget to mention, it can also aid in preserving cell hydration during your luteal phase, which has been associated with reducing menstrual discomfort, so keep that in mind. And lastly, the third benefit I want to touch on is where most of the research has been established, and that is for its use in increasing lean body mass. This 2017 meta-analysis published in the Journal of Sports Medicine showed us that when you combine your creatine with the resistance training, you will start to build and maintain muscle more effectively. And those who combine taking creatine with strength training gained an average of three pounds more muscle compared to those who followed the same protocol but were on a placebo. This is where if you have those flabby arms that look like this, sometimes this can be attributed back to sarcopenia, which is a gradual loss of muscle mass as you age, right? So theoretically, if you want to get rid of flabby arms, one way to do it is with strength training and taking creatine. Some women take creatine for the anti-aging benefit, interestingly, because it can help restore the muscles back in your arms and tighten the flabby arms and help you look more toned. Keep in mind that muscle is more metabolically active, meaning the more muscle tissue you have in your body, the better your metabolism will be and the better your metabolism, the healthier and younger you can feel. Now that you know how powerful creatine is, let's talk about quality. Not all creatine supplements are created equal, and that's why I personally go with Thorne's Creatine Monohydrate. Here's why, let me show you. 
They have four rounds of testing for quality, guys. If you want a high quality supplement that is also NSF certified with clean manufacturing process, comprehensive testing, and high quality source ingredients, Thorn is definitely a good choice, which I left down below for you as an affiliate. And full disclosure, it does support out the channel so I can help bring more content just like this for you guys. And the best way to take it it's gonna be your five grams per scoop of creatine monohydrate. You can mix one scoop with at least eight ounces of water, juice, or your preferred beverage daily. And it can be used 30 to 90 minutes before or after your workouts. So there you have it. Creatine isn't just for men, and it's certainly not just for bodybuilders either. Whether you want to boost your brain power, increase your workout energy, or balance out your menstrual cycle creatine is one of the best supplements to add into your routine if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button subscribe for more science bag health tips and let me know in the comments have you tried creatine before what's your experience been like with it and until then guys if you enjoyed this video check out my video here where i compare collagen protein to whey protein and i'll see you on the next one